Hi everyone! In this video, we'll use the calculator to find the range, sample standard deviation, population standard deviation, sample variance, and population variance for a small data set. We'll start by putting the data set into a list. Press STAT, ENTER on EDIT, and in your empty list, I'm going to be using L1, you're going to put your data values. The data values I'll use are 13, 21, 3, 5, and 8. <clears throat> Once the data is in a list, you can sort it in ascending order. This helps to identify the range. To sort it, press STAT, sort A for sort ascending, and then you're going to identify the, lo the list that has the data. So mine is in L1 using the second key and the number 1. Use, identify L1, close the parentheses, hit enter, and now it's sorted. Going back into the list, we can see it's it shows the values in increasing order. Smallest data value is 3 and that's at the top of the list. The largest data value is 21 at the bottom. To find the range, we take the largest data value, 21, and subtract the smallest data value, 3. 21 minus 3 is 18, therefore 18 is our range. That's the, that's the easiest value to calculate in this tutorial. The next step is to find the sample standard deviation and the population standard deviation. To do that, we're going to use the calculator function 1var stats. 1var stats is found by pressing stat, going over to the calc menu, and number 1, 1var stats. It stands for one variable statistics. You're going to hit enter on that number one and on newer calculators you'll see this screen on older calculator models you'll see a different screen and I have a video that walks you through uh, the process using an older calculator that I'll post in the comments so on this screen you're going to identify the list where your data is stored and mine is in L1 so I'll leave that as the default list L1 Frequency list, I'm going, going to leave that blank and calculate will generate the answers. So let's scroll down to calculate and hit enter. And we have a lot of output on this screen and it does go further. If you press the arrow down, you get more. We are most concerned with this portion right here. SX is the calculator's notation for the sample standard deviation. It is 7.2111. The sample standard deviation is 7.2111 when rounded to four decimal places. The population standard deviation is symbolized on the calculator with a sigma and an x. The population standard deviation here is 6.4498 when rounded to four decimal places. When we copy these numbers down to paper, we would not use the X notation. The sample standard deviation is symbolized on paper with a lowercase s, and the population standard deviation is symbolized on paper with a lowercase Greek sigma. The X notation is only used on the calculator, so leave that out if you're going to copy this on paper. So those two values are our sample standard deviation and population standard deviation. What's not here on the output of this function is the variance. We don't have the population or the sample variance. So to find those two values, we're going to have to use a different process. It involves taking our values for the standard deviations and squaring them. So if we want to find the sample variance, we are going to square the value for the sample standard deviation. So we're going to take this 7.2111 value and square it. On paper, the sample standard deviation is denoted by S and the sample variance is denoted by S squared. When we want to find the, the population variance, we are going to take the population standard deviation and do the same thing. We're going to square it. On paper, the population variance would be denoted as sigma squared. 
So the best and most precise way to do this on your calculator is to use the variables sx and sigma x which are now stored. You'll be able to find the stored values here in VARS. So go to VARS, go down to statistics. We are going to access sx and sigma x right from here. So sx which is stored in the calculator as 7.2111 etc. Um, we are u simply using the variable notation here. We can square it and this is going to give us the sample variance. S squared on paper would be the sample variance and its value is 52. Doing the same thing for the population standard deviation and therefore finding the population variance. Again we're going to scroll down to statistics. We're going to scroll down to sigma x which holds our population standard deviation. We're going to square that and we get a population variance of 41.6. On paper sigma squared equals 41.6. So that's how you calculate the range, standard deviation, and uh, variance on the newer models of the TI calculator. I hope you found the video helpful.